crazy today because the day I had to unfollow one of, you know, one of my brothers, you know, Wiz Khalifa, man, I love you, brother. You know what I mean? I'm still riding around, you know, banging black and yellow. And when I see you again, you a legend, man. It's Pennsylvania, baby. Philly to Pittsburgh, but I had to unfollow him today, man. Every time I come on my page, man, you in your draws, man. You giving up strap and ball action, man. You know, every day, man, I can't do eight balls in the corner pocket every day when I wake up, man. So, you know, I had to unfollow you, play. I love you, though, man. You know, you're my brother for life, man. So, you know, when you, when, Wiz, stop being in his draws. He throw some shorts on or he take a break from the gym. Can y'all DM me and let me know so I can go back and follow my brother? But until then, see ya. All right, I'm only dressed this one time. The same niggas who be telling me to put clothes on in the gym or unfollowing me because I make them uncomfortable, y'all the same niggas who laughed at people when they read in high school or said that you sound stupid because you sound smart. Y'all are negative. And you know what I do with negativity? See Need ya. All the support, man. Two. You know I got 100,000 followers in eight hours, right? Mm-hmm. They can't hold no real nigga down. You know I talk to that super soft, extra sensitive, swab, cotton ass nigga, right? He said, you hurt my feelings. You hurt my feelings. He said, people was laughing at me, Gilly. I don't like to be laughed at. He said, I felt like you was bringing down another black man. I was like, nigga, because I told you to put some drawers on? I mean, because I told you to put some shorts over top of your drawers? I'm bringing down another black man? Yeah, so. Extra super soft, cottony swab. It's all good. You can't own a real nigga's back, though, man. I'm the streets, man. Niggas got 30-something million followers and 400 comments. They don't matter no more. You hear me? They don't matter, baby. Plus, our money already in the bank. Right. Oh, yo, it's Big Ant, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in real quick, and I had to pop back in the crib one time because of the wind cutting up real bad out there and everything, and the uh, noise cancellation shield for the microphone. When the wind blowing too, too hard, it ain't going to matter. It's going to cut through, and it's going to be super loud and irritating on the audio. So I was like, fuck, I got to do the rest inside. But we rocking, though, man. Now, Gilly the Kid and Wiz Khalifa got some grease on the internet, and it's something that I would never think could happen because, you know, they just had a lit interview on Million Dollars Worth the Game, and I know they rock with Wiz Khalifa. But after Gilly made the jokes, you know, he on his timeline, and he seen Wiz in his draws, Basically, the workout MMA shorts that in our culture, weighing them and taking pictures in them, that ain't it. That's some shit for like Conor McGregor, UFC fighters, Khabib. That's what they do. But Wiz has got heavily into his health side, his fitness side, his lifestyle, staying in shape. And when that become your lifestyle, you will share that with the, with the world on your platform. But it's like scrolling down the timeline we as niggas, we like, hold on, bro. We don't want to just see y'all live with your whole thighs and your calves and, and, and every day, nigga, you in your drawers working out. You know what I'm saying? Congratulations to Wiz for getting in shape, but that just ain't what we want to see. So Gilly, like, hey, man, put some shorts on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Put you some little, put some little bigger shorts on over them joints. But Wiz got offended when Gilly said that and went and responded. Now, all the hip hop blogs pieced it together. And Wiz never directly said to people in the comments, he didn't say Gilly name, but everybody knew Gilly had said it because of the conversation, how it was presented on the blogs. Whether they knew who Gilly was or not, they gonna find out. So Gilly Page ended up coming down a little bit after Wiz made that statement. Then Gilly said this, you tell a nigga put some shorts on, he tells IG you're bullying him and get your page deactivated. Nigga, I was playing. These rappers so pussy. It's 2022. You got social media racks now. Can't wait to see you, which is a playoff of what Wiz has been doing on Instagram saying see you. Now, I personally don't feel that Wiz went and reported Gilly Page and got him taken down. Wiz is a, a global superstar at this point. He's going to have that real, real super fan base who gonna flag Gilly? 
Flag them down because, bro, you got to think. Wiz been doing this. Wiz, Wiz is a legend, as like Willie said. I mean, it's like uh, goddamn Gilly said. Hey, man, this nigga a legend, bro. The fan base is solid. They locked in. So that's like he like the Taylors, nigga. They not playing. They going to flag your shit down. So they flagged Gilly down. And we still didn't know because Wiz wouldn't acknowledge it. He was, of course, seeing it because if you responded to it initially, you for sure saw it when it was hitting every single rap and hip hop blog. You getting all the tags. You on social media posting all day. I guess he had to finally respond and said this. I did not get, I didn't get that child's Instagram deleted. I even offered to help him get his page back and he declined. See ya. Now, I don't know if Wiz or Gilly has responded after that. He said he didn't get it deleted, which I do believe him. But somebody say, uh, I didn't get that child's Instagram taken down. Now, I'm, you know, I'm from the streets, man, where, you know, you got to stand on what you do and say. You got you got to stand on that now. You put that energy out there. You got to stand on it. Another thing. Y'all think I should post his manager text messages from last night? Apologizing for him? Oh, cause see, you didn't know they did that. You didn't know Will did that. You didn't know Will text me last night and apologize because he didn't know that you would do something like that. See, you don't put your foot in your mouth, man. And the bottom line is, uh, your exact words was, I was hurt. I was extremely hurt. So my, so my Instagram team, I'm strong over there, but I can get your page back. I can get your page back. Let's just sit down and talk, Gilly. And I told you, fuck you and that page. What you talking about? I decline. You right, I decline. Fuck you and that page. The indirectly, you kind of did. Because your action, your energy made your fans feel a way to go do it. Now, that's out of your control. You didn't tell them to do it. But I do feel like Wiz was a little emotional here, bro. Why? I don't know. Gilly was clearly playing. I can't tell a nigga how to respond to a joke, but it wasn't that serious to me, bro. Like, it's like you wearing the shorts, nigga. You got to be ready for niggas to say shit. You know that shit ain't normal in our culture for you to just be on your timeline all day in them hoes. But I rock with Wiz, though, man. I just like, oh, man, come on, dog. My nigga being emotional about this shit, man. Like, it ain't that. But shout out to Wiz. Man, fucking with they shit. And, man, you know, niggas got, got niggas fuck with Wiz, bro, on that, on that music shit. So, it's all love. I'm pretty sure they're going to patch this up. Me and Dollars worth the game steady growing. Gilly already back over 200,000 and counting Instagram followers. So, they locked in, man. 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot. Tell me what y'all think about this. Turn that notification bell on to catch these videos when they drop, man. Stay on your pivot. 1,000.